YouTube, I got a brand new 16-inch MacBook Pro. I'm finna show you guys all of my secrets of exactly how I set up these MacBooks the second I get them. So before you go any further on your Apple laptop or computer, listen to these 12 tips I'm about to share with you. I might have a few bonus ones for you. I like you guys. So here we are on a brand new 16-inch M2 Pro MacBook Pro, and I can already tell you things gotta go. Number one, the first thing I absolutely always do when I get a brand new MacBook is I have to turn on tap to click. I don't care. I don't wait. I get straight to this. So I go straight to the trackpad and we have it right here at the bottom. Tap to click is absolutely what you need. So from now on, every mouse click is a tap period. All right. Next thing I got to do is screen resolution. I do not play about my displays. This is a beautiful, big 16 inch display with a high resolution but they don't give you the full glory. I go right here into displays and I tap on more space. So instantly changes it, gives me more space, gives you the full resolution picture. All right, so now that we have our full resolution glory of our display, I'm gonna turn True Tone off because I'm a content creator and I don't want them altering or giving any type of orange glows or tint. Now the next thing I gotta change to complement the new screen resolution because you can't even tell with this massive dock. Yes, we're gonna change the dock. <laughs> Where is the dock settings? Tim Apple, what you doing over here messing up the stuff, man? I'm an OG, OG Apple user and I'm over here. Oh, here we go, desktop and dock. So now we're gonna go here and as you guys can see, you can change the size of your dock. I like to minimize that because it's making my display now humongous. So that adjustment right there allows for me to, to increase the sizing of my windows and use and take full advantage of my new screen resolution. There's another thing that I do for screen resolution, but in order to demonstrate that for you guys, let me do something really quick. Com command shift three, command shift three, command shift three. Basically, I just took like 1500 screenshots. Nah, just, literally just three. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is change my icon sizing to complement the new full screen resolution. And what I do right here is I go into show view options, and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize my icon sizing. And not only that, I'm gonna change the text sizing down to the lowest setting. Now, as you guys can see, that shift right there just makes my screen seem that much more massive. And the next thing I wanna do while I'm still inside of view options is I wanna go to stack by kind. What this does is, as you can see, all of those screenshots, since they're all the image kind, they're all stacked together as opposed to each one being individually displayed on my desktop, taking up all my space. It's now just one icon. That is a W for organization and also a clutterless mind. That is important, trust me. Okay, so the next thing I like to have displayed on my laptop and keep track of is battery. Obviously, I'm not plugged in right now. I'm at 56% battery, oh, 55 now. <laughs> it just dropped that fast, see? That's why you need to be able to see your battery percentage. And for some odd reason, Apple doesn't give you that off the rip. So we're gonna go into system some settings you guys already know the routine if you don't I'm showing you you're gonna go into the control center and right here under battery you can hit show percentage and also you can show it in the control center if you want to but my main thing is I just want to be able to see my percentage while looking up now here's another thing that you can do with the control center and I'm huge on because I like to have different audio sources like I might have my studio display hooked up I got uh, audio speakers that I have hooked up and I might want to switch in between what's the source of my audio. In order to be able to do that, I like to do it fast and from my main menu bar up here. So I'm going to go into control center, sound, I'm going to grab and drag that right here and I'm going to place it right there. So now you have the option to change your sound source literally by clicking on that sound icon right there. Absolutely clutch. Another thing I want to do that's in the visual realm is I have to change the wallpaper. Hold up, player. Let me open up Safari really quick. I'm going to go to this one website that I can think of off the top of my mind. Wallpaper Cave, I believe. Now, on here, they got some Apple uh, Mac wallpapers. Hold on. Let me type in Mac. Okay, 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 okay. Real quick, real quick. Download wallpaper. Allow, you know, Apple with the security. Man, I don't want it to open after it downloads something. We're going to have to change that. That's probably going to have to be a bonus set, and I'm going to show you guys in a second because I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that it does that, and I usually turn that off, so boom, okay. And that is actually a uh, setting in Safari, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick. All right, so inside of Safari settings, this is it. Open save files after downloading. If you don't want it to automatically open up files every time you download something, you can go ahead and turn that off. So now, as you guys can see, those three downloaded wallpapers went into my downloads folder, but that's not where I'm gonna have easy access if I wanna change my wallpaper. 
you need to come into the finder window. Ooh, we got we got a lot to show you guys because I got to optimize this finder window. Number one, I do not like this icon view. I love the columns view. I always do that for my finders. And if you guys didn't know, up here in the view, you can change it right here. View as columns. There's also a keyboard shortcut uh, to command three column view. Whatever view you like, choose that. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up a new window thing. And look, this is just leading me into all of my settings because there's something I need to do in here as well. Now, let's go into preferences, right? Command, comma, if you guys don't know. Now, over here in the sidebar, I need access to my movie folder, my music folder, my picture folder. I always turn those on as well as, let me see, in general, I can put my hard disk on my desktop. The reason why I needed quick access to my pictures folder is because that's where you need to put your wallpaper. So I'll come in here and I'll do a new folder called wallpapers. And then what I'll do is all of those wallpapers that I just downloaded right here, I'm gonna drag those into that folder really quick and easy. And then when I go into the settings and I go into wallpapers and I'm ready to load my folder of wallpapers, I just hit add folder. I click right here to these quick sidebar folders like that I've just created. I click on wallpapers and then I hit choose. Now I have access to all three of those wallpapers that I just downloaded extremely fast and extremely quick. I'm gonna do this little Mac mini one for now. Keep it on par with the theme of what we are doing. Now, another thing in the finder, since we're here in the finder, something that I love to see is I love to view my path bar. And if you want to, you can also do the status bar. So you can see like, you know, the space that you have available on your hard drive at all times while going through your finder. But I love this path because I can see exactly where said file is located. Now, another thing with this sidebar that I want to show you guys that is a super clutch like thing that I do all the time. I do this with a bunch of folders that I access all the time is you just drag the folder right here to the left of the sidebar. You can put it anywhere you want it. And I would probably let me just put it up top. I need access to my wallpapers folder and the quickness. Boom, you tap right there and you're in. Boom. Oh, here's another cool tip going back to the, uh, you know, drag bar. You know, you see how I have to click with this finger and hold down the slide? I'm pretty sure a lot of you OGs know about this, but if you go into accessibility and we scroll to, where is it at? Where you at? Where are you? Pointer control. We come into trackpad options and I turn on this dragging with trackpad and I put it on three fingers. Now, I just use three fingers and drag, and I'm just sliding my three fingers with such ease and poise, and I'm able to drag windows around. Super clutch, super ideal tip right there. I don't know how many tips I've given you guys. I've just went on. I said I was going to do 12, but I'm, I don't even know what number I'm at. I'm going to have to count them while I'm giving them when I'm editing. And this right here is literally how I set up my MacBooks and my Mac desktop computers so that I can get to use them. As you guys can see, this has a nice big full screen resolution everything's nice and tidy and organized and i have my preferred navigational methods to navigate mac os which i love dearly so pretty much that's the tips i hope you guys enjoyed them if i didn't mention certain tips that you guys have in your pocket hit them down in the comment section below so i can add them to this macbook pro 16 inch right now this is the m2 pro i got plenty more content coming y'all way in the apple hemisphere peace